Howdy there again, folks. Uh, me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel, coming back at you with another offering off of my sampler platter. Uh, this is a series of videos that I do where I try out uh, like new items or weird items or gimmicky items or whatever. Um, and I tell stories about things and I do stuff and hopefully equate some of that back to you in an entertaining manner and uh, maybe help you, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you know, make some decisions about if you want to try some things, or maybe not. Maybe it's just purely for the lols, which is absolutely fine with me. Um, so, with that said, uh, what, are we, uh, what are we jumping into? Well, first, uh, let's, uh, let's get right into it with Brandon's featured shirt of the day. Uh, this is my head PE shirt. See it right there. I got it, uh, got a concert. They were playing with, uh, Power Man 5000, Edema. Um, oh man. I apologize because there, there were some, uh, there were some other really great bands there too, but off the top of my head, it's not blanking. Um, oh man. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, text from one of my friends. That's that's what you get when you do this with a phone instead of like a proper camera setup. But anyway, yes, uh, this is my head PE shirt. Um, seen them a couple times in concert. Really solid band to see live. Uh, even if you're not super, even if you're kind of like on the fence about them with you know some of their musical output and stuff, absolutely go see them live. They will convert you. Uh, they are really really good. Um, and they've changed so dramatically over the course of their uh, musical career. So, very cool. Anyway, so what's the item for today? What is said item off of said sampler platter? Well, folks, you already know because you've seen the title. But part of my thing that I like to do is I like to do a little boom. We are doing Canada Dry Bold Ginger Ale. Uh, this is brand new. Uh, I saw it in the shops, uh, I think maybe two weeks ago or so, and yeah, I've had a 12-pack of this stuff just sitting in there taunting me since then. So, now that said, I am interested, because the thing is, a while back, uh, one of my, not first videos, but, uh, definitely a ways back now, uh, one of the videos that I did was for Sprite with Ginger. And during that, I mentioned Canada Dry and how I felt the Canada Dry uh, for, or actually no, it was my, it was my ginger beer uh, episode, I'm sorry. Um, and I mentioned the Canada Dry, although I grew up with it as a kid, as an adult, I've always felt it's kind of weak as a ginger soda. Um, I still enjoy it, but it's one of those things like, if I've got other options, if I've got, like, Sagrams available, or if I have Verners available, uh, they're definitely getting chosen. Canada Dry, for me, has always been a bit more kind of, like, geared towards... It's a... It's a, uh... It's a ginger ale of the people, if you get my meaning. It's kind of meant to hit as many spectrums as possible. Um, which isn't a bad thing, but if for me, it's it just doesn't have the same bite. Uh, but they do have some cool flavors that they do periodically. They have, like, blackberry, uh, and, uh, they, I know they've had some other ones, but, uh, so this is bold. And the thing that's interesting to me about that is the fact that I go over there, I do my ginger beer, uh, episode, uh, you know, I think, like, about a month ago or so, or whatever it was now. My brain and time don't really jive. I like to think of it in terms of, like, the whole thing with Star Trek The Next Generation, where, like, I perceive time and space, uh, you know, as one connected entity instead of, it's a load of horseshit. Uh, I'm just fucking bad at remembering things like that, like specific dates and stuff, so. Anyway, I do find it funny that I did that, and then this comes out. Now, I'm not saying, folks, that, uh, Canada drives over there watching my videos, and uh, taking notes, but uh, I mean, I'm gonna, depending on how good this is, I may or may not take credit for it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, 
I'm gonna try some ginger ale bold. I am. I'm excited. I, I'm interested in seeing what they consider bold. You know, is it gonna have more bites? Is it? You know, what 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 are we getting? Bold could mean a lot of things. Um. So I'm definitely excited for it. Plus, I got a 12 pack of this stuff. So I got 11 more after this. So hopefully it's good. Um. If you watched any of my videos before, a lot of times I like to go over there and kind of equate. Uh you know, tell a story that kind of equates myself with the item. Um, when I did the ginger beer thing, I talked about, uh, you know, again, kind of my experiences with Canada Dry. Anyway, um, I don't know if I really have a particularly good uh, story then. Because I was expecting to do all this much ginger stuff, and I actually have another ginger thing over the side of, over here that I'm planning to do in this batch of videos. Ginger stuff is... On the rise for whatever reason. Uh, not that I'm complaining. Um, so I'm trying to think. Um, I mean, maybe not so much Canada Dry, but like, I do have a distinct memory back when I was like, maybe like 18 or 19. I think it was before I hit 20. Uh, I was like just out of high school. And I started getting like really into like forum boards and stuff like that for like certain things I liked, like music. Um. And, uh, you know, art stuff and everything. And one of the things I was really into was anime, and specifically the anime Naruto at the time. And, uh, yeah, that series kind of went off on, or went off the rails. But anyway, um, I remember there was, I was part of this one forum, and it was, I, I really enjoyed the forum. Uh, it was one of the better ones I was ever part of. It had a really good community. Uh, but... Every so often, you would still get someone coming in who wanted to go over there and, you know, cause some kind of rabble rouse and stuff. And I remember there was, like, one guy from Canada who, at the time, we were still kind of, like, you know, you know, back in the, them the our days now. Uh, we were still kind of dealing with, like, the whole Iraq war situation and everything. So one person decided to go over there and make some sort of comment to that regard which there's absolutely nothing, you know, wrong with having uh, political opinions. It's a little weird on a Naruto board. And granted, there are politics in Naruto, but that wasn't what this was about. But I remember him going over there and uh, just basically going off on America and how he was going to, like, if, if us doing what we did led to World War Three, he was going to, like, go over there and arm himself and fight against him. And it was just like, and look, folks, I'm, like, not by nature a tremendously patriotic person. I live in America. I like America most of the time for most of the <laughs> for some of the things that we do anyway. Uh, but it was just really funny to think back now, especially, uh, because, like, my knee-jerk reaction, uh, even though, again, not, you know, super-duper patriotic, but uh, my knee-jerk reaction was to, you know, go, like, hardcore patriot on him because it was like, dude, fuck you, man, you know, like... Again, if you want to be critical of us, that's fine, you know, like, but it's a little bit weird when you're not from our country. Like, if we bash our own country, you know, it's like, it's like when you bash uh, your own family members, you know. It's perfectly fine if you do it, but if, like, your friend or something goes over there and steps too far out of line, you're like, whoa now. I know I just went over there and said that, you know, my cousin could go over there and, you know, take a nosedive down some stairs uh, but you going over there and adding to it is just too far. I've never said that about any of my cousins, by the way. I love all of my cousins, so. Some of them even watch, uh, my videos, so. Love you, folks. I promise I've never said anything. But anyway, that is, like, my one story about Canada. And then it ended up being this whole thing, like, back and forth, and eventually it was just completely shut down by the moderators, because it should have been. Um, and I think I even got, like, a week-long ban for for that whole thing. Anyway, Canada Dry. Oh, man, that took too long to say. Give this a shot. Sorry, folks. Like, I'm... I, we're dealing with the whole... And I don't give a damn. Like, I know, like... Uh, you know, I mean, I don't have to worry about my stuff being monetized anyway. But I know, like, you're not supposed to say, like, you know, COVID-19 or coronavirus or anything on your videos right now. But that's what we're going with right now. Because I don't have to worry about losing money from doing this because I make no money. In fact, lose money by buying things. Uh, I'm going to call it what it is. Since we're dealing with that whole situation right now, um, 
It's a little bit of a thing, but I do not have that. I just have seasonal allergies. <laughs> okay. I mean, it smells like ginger ale, so we'll, uh, it's hard for, I should have gone over there and done like a comparison, like got some, uh, some normal, uh, Canada dry, but I didn't think about it. So yeah, whatever. Ooh. Okay. Excuse me. Carbonation and such. Right off the bat, I'm going to say I like this. Um, this, to me, tastes like if Canada Dry made an attempt at making ginger beer instead of ginger ale. Um, if you're not aware of the difference, go back and watch my, uh, my ginger beer episode. Um, but ginger beer is much stronger than ginger ale. Ginger ale is kind of, you know, it's the, uh, the more palatable to kind of everybody. Ginger beer can range from like a little bit above ginger ale to like flat out, like almost, at least for me, almost undrinkable with some of them, how ginger flavored it is. Um, this is like that. Like when I drink it, I get that hit, uh, However, like with a uh, normal Canada Dry, what I find is that you get that initial bite of ginger, but then, again, just like with normal ginger ale, uh, it dies back quickly. So for me, like a really good ginger ale like Verner's uh, or Sagram's, that... Uh, that bite lingers throughout. Um, it, you know, it dials back, obviously, as it goes down, but it's it's always present. With ginger ale, one of the issues I have with it is the fact that it kind of dies out too quickly, in my opinion. It feels a little bit weak. In this case, you definitely get a big, uh, bigger hit of that ginger flavor right at the front, which initially made me really, uh, really excited when I started drinking. I was like, all right, here we go. But it does dial back again. Um, so to that effect, with it being sort of a ginger ale, ginger beer hybrid of sorts, uh, that's how I'm going to look at it anyway. I would say I definitely prefer it over uh, normal ginger ale because, again, it's got a stronger flavor, and I like that in a ginger uh, soda personally. Um, however, would I go over there and put it would I go over there and put this iteration uh, up there with, again, some of the more uh, standout, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a good word, like commercially available um, ginger sodas. Again, like Sagram's, uh, like uh, Verner's. No, but it's a lot closer than ginger ale uh, for me. Um For me, Verner's is still probably the best, like, ginger ale that I've ever had. Um, especially, at least in terms of, like, easily commercially available. Because, like, there are, like, craft, you know, ones and smaller uh, companies and stuff like that. Um, but I do love Verner's. Verner's is just phenomenal. Um, it's very unique. Uh, and after that, Sagram's is probably, uh, probably my second choice. This... It's not up there with those two, but it's, again, it's definitely closer than conventional ginger ale by a good mark. Like, this for me has some bite to it, uh, way more than conventional ginger ale, and I like that. Uh, but it doesn't, at the same time, it still doesn't permeate quite enough uh, to really put it up there with the, the big players, in my opinion. So to that effect, uh, would I recommend it? If you like ginger soda, uh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, there's no reason not to at least try it. Um, if you like Canada Dry, I will just say, if you are, like, perfectly 100% in love with Canada Dry, its flavor profile, the bite it has, this will be a little bit of an upshot for you. You may not, you know, go in for that. Uh, but if you just kind of like, you know, ginger sodas in general and stuff, 
and maybe, you know, like me, you kind of feel like, ah, you know, ginger ale, you know, or, uh, Canada Dry, you know, it's fine, but, you know, this, this I think would increase, uh, your positive perception of it. Um, I, again, I would still go for, like, ginger ale, uh, or, sorry, Sagrams or, uh, like, Verner's or something like that, personally, but this is, like, a good medium roll, so if Sagrams, if Verner's is a little bit too much for you, and, uh, conventional Canada Dry is a little bit too down the middle, this might do it for you. I enjoy it. I, like I said, I would, uh, I would recommend it. Um, you know, at least give it a shot. If you can find, like, a can or a bottle or something like that, you know, obviously that's ideal as, you know, just your first taste. Uh, but I think if you enjoy ginger stuff, you could buy a 12-pack of this with confidence that at the very least you'll be able to finish that pack without, I don't know, going over there and murdering a loved one in a fit of ginger-fueled rage. So, so yeah, that's my take on Canada Dry Bowl. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and end this off here, folks. Um, I always like to end on a positive note. So, regardless of whatever ginger soda or beer or soup or whatever ginger-inspired thing you might be into, uh, or maybe you're not at all, that's cool, too. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day, great rest of your week, great rest of your month, great rest of your year. Just have a fantastic life in general, folks. Uh, try to keep kicking that ass, bring some positivity into the world if you can. Uh, and if you can't, at the very least, try not to be a douchebag. I think that's pretty easy for the most part. I think people far too often, far too often, uh, don't see that as being an unachievable goal. Um, I see way too many people uh, excuse shitty actions of other people. And just like, well, and it's like, no, folks, it's not, you know, we all have our moments. Don't get me wrong. I'm guilty of it, too. Uh, it is generally not that hard to not be an asshole, at least a good chunk of your day. So uh, the only other little thing that I like to do as a send off here, um, if you guys want to keep watching me do this stuff for whatever reason, you need to do two things for me. Uh, number one, watch the video. Number two, do the thing. That's it. Uh, all right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Bye.